Hello, CS Pro users, and welcome to CS Pro Video Tutorial 6, Modify the Table. In this exercise, we will modify the table created in the previous exercise, Exercise 5, by adding percents to the table, adding a universe to the table, and changing the formatting of the table. If the tabulation application you created in Tutorial 5 is not open, open it now. We begin by adding percents to the columns next to the values for the sex variable. Right-click on the word sex just above the word male. Select Tally Attributes Sex from the right-click menu. In the list on the left of the dialog box marked Available, click on Percents. Click the Add button. You should now see percents listed in the list on the right of the dialog box marked Selected. Click OK. You should see three new columns on the table for the percents. Run the tabulation by clicking on the traffic light icon on the toolbar or by pressing Control R. When CS Pro prompts you to save the changes, click on Yes. Select the data file to tabulate by clicking on the ellipsis, navigating to the file, click on the file to tabulate, click open, then click OK. When you have completed this, you should see a table that looks something like what you see here. The next step is to add a universe to the table. A universe is a filter, or a way of restricting the table to a subset of the data records that meet a certain condition. We will restrict the tabulation to married people only. Right-click anywhere on the table body. Select Tally Attributes Table from the right-click menu. In the section of the dialog box marked Universe, type marital underscore status equals 1. Be sure to type this correctly. Otherwise, you may see an error message like you see here. Correct the error message by clicking OK and making the correction. Click OK. Run the tabulation by clicking on the traffic light icon on the toolbar or by pressing Control R. When CS Pro prompts you to save the changes, click on Yes. Select the data file to tabulate by clicking on the ellipsis and selecting the data file. Click on Open, then click OK. We now have the table with the universe applied. Notice the counts are lower than in the previous step. This is because we are only including married people. We will change some of the formatting of the table. CS Pro gives you control over the format of your tables, so we can change the way a table looks. But before we look at changing the appearance of a table, let's look at how we describe the parts of a table. The CS Pro helps provides a chart showing the terminology CS Pro uses for the parts of a table. First is the header section. This is where the table title exists. This is the spanner. The spanner is a line across several column headings. The column heading is above the column and normally describes the data in the column. On the left of the table are the stubs and the captions. 
The stub is descriptive text describing the data on the corresponding line. Here is a caption. A caption has no corresponding row containing data. Inside the table are cells. The cells are intersections of rows and columns and contain the data. Now that we know how to describe the parts of a table, let's look at how we can change their appearance. We begin by changing the font and color of the table title. Right-click on the table title and select Format Title from the right-click menu. Here you have all the options for formatting the table title. I begin by changing the font. Under Font and Color, I click Change. I will select a 20-point bold font, then click OK. To change the color of the title, I click on the button next to Text Color and select the color. I choose blue. Click OK. Click OK. You can see the change in the formatting of the table title. Next, I will change the color of the stubs for ages 0 to 9 and 10 to 19 to red. I click on 0 to 9. While holding down the Shift key, I click on 10 to 19. Both stubs are now selected. Right-click. In the right-click menu, select Format Stub. Here we have the dialog box for changing the attributes of the stub. I am going to change the color to red. Click on the button next to text color and select red. Click OK. Click OK. You can now see that the stubs have been changed to red. I will make the entire row red for ages 0 to 9 and 10 to 19 by selecting the two stubs, right-clicking, selecting Format Stub, and checking Extend Text Color into Cells. Click OK. Our entire row for ages 0 to 9 and 10 to 19 are red. We will change the number of decimal points for the percentages from 1 to 2. Right click on the column header for percent. From the right click menu, select Format Column Head. This brings up the Format Column Head dialog box. Here you have the formatting options that we've used previously. In the bottom right of the dialog box, you can change decimal places. Open the drop-down and select 2. Click OK. Under the total percent, you can see that it has changed to two decimal places. We will do the same for mail. Right-click, Format Column Head, Decimal Places, 2, OK. And for the female percent, right-click, Format Column Head, Decimal Places, 2. Now all of our percents are showing two decimal places. Now let's change the alignment of the column heads. I select all the column heads by selecting the first one, holding down the Shift key, and clicking on the furthest right. All the column heads are now selected. I right-click on the highlighted area. Click on Format Column Head. Go down to the Alignment section. I am going to make the Horizontal Alignment Center. Click on the drop-down. Click on Center. Click on OK. All the column heads have now been centered. 
Let's run the table to see how the final table looks. Click on the green traffic light. Click Yes to save the changes. The data file is already in the Tab File Associations dialog box. Click OK. Now the table is run, and this is the table with our new formatting. Take some time to experiment with the various formatting options. As you experiment, remember, CS Pro Helps are available to give more information about all the functionality of CS Pro, including table formatting.